Why do you want Brexit? I fear the only way the EU can survive is more integration, more pooled sovereignty, and that is the direction it's going. I want Brexit because I think it's high time that Britain uh, regained its sovereignty over its laws, over its fishing grounds, over its politics. Because I don't like being dominated by an institution which isn't democratic, unelected officials, and they're not on our side, and we should be an independent country. EU laws are passed for all of the EU, which sometimes doesn't, they're not in Britain's best interests. I want those people over there in Parliament to be the people who make our laws. Many of them are pretty poor, but at least we elected them and we can boot them out if they don't do what we want. Britain's been held captive by the EU with respect to so many areas of, of economy, immigration, and it's, it's time we regained our sovereignty. That, that's the main thing for me. We want Brexit because it's what people voted for. They did not vote for a half-measure fudge by Theresa May, and that's what the deal that she's presented to Parliament is. It is not Brexit in any way, shape or form. It keeps us tied into European institutions that we voted to leave in 2016. So uh, what do you think of May's deal at the moment? To humiliation. Uh, if I thought she was a clever person, I would have said she'd planned it from the beginning. I think it's a Remainers deal, um, orchestrated by Remainers, with Brussels, I think Brussels worked with the UK against the people. I don't, I don't think it's a good deal. And I don't think that people should be afraid of a so-called no deal. Because a no deal means we can then enter into the World Trading Organization rules of trading. And what's wrong with that? Everyone else does. I'm afraid I believe she lied from day one. She lied to her cabinet. She's lied to her MPs. She lied to her DUP partners. Yeah, the wall's been pulled over our eyes. It's not a Brexit at all. It is the worst deal in history because she's refused to walk away when the EU wouldn't budge. I don't believe the government have ever been serious. It was left so late, deliberately so, Theresa May hoped to bounce her party and the country into the agreement and that's why it's been left so late. There's no other reason for it. Um, I'm from Canada and yes, I know there's been a, a Canadian um, uh, agreement struck, uh, which is good. And we should be looking at that more carefully for ourselves instead of just accepting mm. what the EU is willing to give us. So what do you think is going to happen next? Is it going to be voted for? I think there's a plan. I think May's fully expecting for the vote to collapse. Uh, I think there will be some sort of uh, crash in the pound and financial scare that will rally MPs to, to vote again the second time around to pass it. And once it is passed, that's the end of Brexit. There'll be no way to get out of the customs union without the EU say so. That is a dictatorship. That is not a democracy. Nobody knows, do they? Um, I was worried when I uh, saw Dominic Grieve's um, amendment, but then I realised that it wasn't binding. Where do you see it going? It's, it's all up in the air. It, it's, it's anyone's question, isn't it? Some people are saying, oh, she's going to lose the vote by a huge margin. Jacob Rees-Mogg, just the other day, though, he said if it's shot down, it'll be shot down by a handful of votes. I think May is bribing people to, to vote with her, and I dread to think what she's offering them. I think it will be voted down. My concern is that there is going to be a, a very large faction within Parliament that is going to continue to thwart the Brexit that we need. Well, hopefully the vote will be voted down next week uh, on Tuesday, and it'll then, hopefully, Theresa May will fall on her sword and we'll be able to elect a new leader. But clearly it's not going to be passed next Tuesday. Well, at least I say clearly, I hope not. Do you think that they're likely to spring a second referendum on us? I think that's highly likely. The one thing I don't want is a second referendum because that would be the end of our democracy. They've had to vote twice in France, in Ireland, in Denmark and other places. It would be outrageous if the mother of all parliament says we have to vote a second time. I don't think a second referendum would be correct and it should never be even considered. Uh, well, they have to pass a law on that. Uh, and although there may be a majority in Parliament for a second referendum, that is obviously not going to be before the 29th of March. So she's going to have a political problem with that. And uh, do you think that Leave voters' opinions will hold, Leave campaigners will, will, will put a lot of effort in and not accept this lying down? Definitely. And I think we'll win with a larger majority. I think, I think the country has come round to believing that we are being bullied by the EU and we should stand up to them. So Leavers are definitely up for it if there is one. Oh, absolutely right. Oh, absolutely right. So many people have said more people will vote Brexit 
because it is an affront to democracy yeah. if we have another yeah. vote. Yeah. But but tell people, you know, this is why I'm here, yeah. and I'm gauging the response from people. When we start waving, we get loads of lorry drivers and yeah. taxi drivers and car drivers hooting. We're ready for a second referendum. We've got campaigning going on all over the nation anyway, mm -hmm. but we don't want a second referendum. Do you think I want to be stood out here two years on from the Leave vote, campaigning still to leave? We shouldn't even be here having to support the 52% majority. All we want is for her to listen, and she won't listen. So I'm going to say her own words back to her. No deal is better than a bad deal. Why won't you deliver it? How will this affect how you're going to vote? Who, who would you vote uh, for? I will never it? vote again. But I've told my MP, Greg Clark, I will never, ever, ever vote Conservative ever again if we don't get a proper Brexit. I've got no one to vote for in the next general election. I cannot vote for any of the parties. Labour and Conservatives deliberately broke faith with their voters. I have serious doubts about what, what, it's, what, what the point is. You know, the point? My membership in the Conservative Party was up for renewal two weeks ago. And I stared at that screen for about two hours before I was actually able to press renew. That is how genuinely despondent I am that a Conservative Prime Minister is trying to sell out the UK. I would never, ever, ever vote for May ever again. And I wouldn't vote for a Remainer. So I don't know what to do. I hope another party emerges. I will vote, but I need an independent. I myself am a Conservative, yeah. but we work a lot with Labour Leave, we work, work a lot with Green Leave, we work with all manner of organisations because yeah. there are lots of people across the political spectrum who want out of the European Union. Now I know this is a left of centre organisation you're representing, so let me say it plainly. Whether you're left or right, it doesn't matter, it's a bad deal on the table. We all hate it, why is she pushing it? You've got to leave Means Leave uh, rally soon. Uh, would you like to say where and when that is? Yeah, our rally on the 14th actually, sadly it's sold out. Uh, within 24 hours of us putting it on sale for the tickets, it was done. 700 seats all sold. You know, we're at the QE2, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. We've got eight speakers. Remainers don't understand the seriousness of going against a democratic vote in this country. It will tear us, tear us apart for decades.